Hello people of the web and YouTube, the girl went back to another Sony Vegas tutorial video. Whoa. So, okay guys, you read the title of the video, I know why you're here, and with that said, today I'm going to be showing you how to do this effect right here. So okay guys, to actually do this 3D effect, it's fairly simple. All you really gotta do is tell Sony Vegas, hey, we want to make a 3D video. And you do that by going under the project slash video properties. You can get here by hitting alt enter or going right above your preview window and pushing the button. Now once you're under here, you want to look for stereoscopic 3D and turn that from off to any of the three angliographic settings. Now, what most people do and what I like to do personally is I like to split it between red and blue, kind of get that classic 3D effect going on. So I'm going to select that and then hit apply. And as you can see, it was very subtle. I'm going to make it full screen so maybe it's a little bit more noticeable. The color shifted from the original video. As you could probably tell, the previous video before I did that little change was a lot brighter and you can restore the color after tweaking the video project settings like that. You just got to go under either track FX or go under the event plugin manager and mess with one of the color correction uh, plugins but other than that I'm not gonna be doing that today because it goes a little bit above my head and I'm not perfect at it and I don't want to get bitched at that I didn't make the colors exact so I'm gonna skip over that for now and just get on to how we make the 3d colors kind of split away from themselves now to do this we just hit track FX or event plugin manager one of the two both of them will work fine I'm just gonna go and affect the whole track entirely so I'm gonna hit track FX and then I'm going to click on Sony Stereoscopic 3D Adjust. Now, believe it or not, we're almost pretty much done. Once we're in here, all we got to do is click on the Animate button and then animate our colors until it when, it, when, when we need it to split to create, that, to create that cool 3D transition. Now, what I like to do is you can do this anywhere. It doesn't necessarily have to be a point in your video when you're transitioning. But I like to do it at transition points because it looks more natural when the colors change and the video skips. Just in my per personal opinion. But yeah, I like to do it at transition points. So I'm going to go here, hit the little plus down here in my timeline, and then go over and hit the little plus again. And if yours doesn't put a keyframe right where your cursor's at in your project, just go down here and select a sync cursor to media timeline. Trust me, that will save you tons of hassle in the future if you check that when you need to animate something. So I'd click that before trying to add key points and get this perfect. So yeah, once we hit that, we just add our keyframes. As you can see, I added two default ones set at zero, zero. And now I'm gonna go in between those and tweak this little slider here to either the left or the right and I'm gonna move this a little bit lower because I don't know where my webcam's gonna be in this quite yet um but yeah once we're in here all you do is you tweak it left or right and I like to do it by a little bit at first and then a big massive bit in the opposite direction just as it ends which I think usually looks pretty good as you can see that worked out pretty good but it's not perfect and we can add a little bit more to it by just adding some more keyframes and doing a simple little slower transition into colors like that. And if I can just use my mouse, there we go. That will make it just look a little bit more realer. As you can see, that's pretty good. And that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Um, There isn't much more I could go on about this effect, but I do want to say this. I didn't personally learn this effect on my own. I seen a video for it. Sometimes, sometime ages ago, I can't really remember where, so forgive me. I just know the person that made this effect originally that I seen didn't speak English, so I wanted to kind of translate what he said and what you needed to do to get this to work. And as you can see, that's pretty much it. We're done. And if you ever want to change the color and not have it be red and blue, all you got to do is go under your video project settings, check angulograph, and set it to amber blue and hit apply and it pretty much just changes the color for you on the fly so if you don't like that red blue effect and want something like that go for it that's all on you and with that said like i said that was pretty much it for the video 
and I'm gonna leave it off here. I hope it was of help to you, and if you need any help figuring this out, let me know down below in the, the comments, and I will help you out as soon as I can. But for now, I'm gonna leave this off here. DTPK signing off. Peace. Ending part of this video. But yeah, like I said, today's video is pretty much over, and I'm gonna leave it off here. If you, um, are building something and you can't really get a camera in there close enough, these things will...